And looking back at 18 years on the air. I've never met anybody like you, Sammy. Honoring the incredible Fox 25 career tonight of our own Maria Stefano. Kevin, I know you agree it is a special night here at Fox 25 and a night to honor this woman right here and celebrate Maria. As Maria first told you yesterday, she has decided to leave Fox 25 and pursue new professional opportunities. But before we let her have the floor, <laughs> we want to take a look back at her 18 incredible years here at Fox 25. Hello, everybody. Maria Stefanos. She's made her home here at Fox 25 for nearly 18 years. Come down here to remember the Kennedys. First, as a hard-nosed reporter covering the big stories. Late word out of Washington tonight. Asking the tough questions. He's had a lot of bad press, and yet you put him in there. A well-respected anchor. She's been bringing you the big stories that impact our community for close to two decades. All of these people from all over the world, right here in Boston, and an explosion, and then one right after that. She's landed the big interviews with the newsmakers. Well, this was a tough day, wasn't it? Covering politicians on Beacon Hill and beyond, that's one of her Menino favorite Mayor. beats. How about Tom Menino, the kid who grew up in Hyde Park? That one question seemed to me to be rather odd. Well, uh, that's your opinion. I, I definitely disagree with that. This is what we do, Scott. I'm going to ask you the questions. Yeah, and I'm going to blow it off. Why? Just answer me. But Maria has also brought us stories of people a little less known. Do you know how many people I've met in my life? I've never met anybody like you, Sammy. But their stories, she always believed, deserve an audience just as much. You're an incredible, look at me now, an incredible person. I cannot believe your spirit. Give me a hug. Yeah, I need a hug. <laughs> She remains the girl from Groveland through and through. Passionate hometown teams as well. This is unbelievable. Off the charts tonight. I'm Maria Stefanos. I love it. I love being part of all of this. She's full of personality. What are you eating? Celery. Celery? Would you like it if I ate my dinner right now while I'm interviewing you? I really uh, object to your celery eating. Not because you're eating in my ear, but... Drink? Oh, go ahead. Can I drink some water? Go ahead, why don't we do it together? Why don't we double box this together? Okay, go ahead. Your hair looks pretty good, Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, always. Yours looks excellent. There you go! Smashing. The only thing better than that is the outfit you're wearing. Oh! And you can't forget that Maria laugh. <laughs> Christmas tree, Ock. It's 101 days away. That's Please a don't. Christmas tree? Thank well, you, Kevin. Honestly? <laughs> Absolutely not. You know? An excellent journalist and a true champion in the community and a dear friend to each one of us here at Fox 25. We thank you. We'll see you later, everybody. Incredible. Almost two decades here. I know. And you, as this place has been built, you have helped build it. It has been an honor. And boy, I had some pretty bad hair. It's not that much better tonight. But you know what? I've been crying all day. I don't look great. So let me just say this. When I started here at Fox 25, my daughter was five months old. Hi, Bella. She surprised me. I dropped her off at college two weeks ago. Almost 18 years when I came here, this was a TV station that nobody had heard of, nobody cared about. We had one newscast a day at 10 p.m. and I was not good on TV, trust me, <laughs> at all. I was this scrappy, big-haired reporter who talked way too fast and, and way too loud. And I know some things have not changed, but I, I really mean this when I say it. I am humbled to be part of this amazing team that built this station all of you and grow the station into this unique talked about station that people finally noticed and those people do include you the viewers you have no idea how you impacted me we celebrated things together the world series please was that the best ever <laughs> ever the first one was the best we mourned together we did 9 11 this day Boston Marathon bombings and so much more. And whenever you had a problem with anything I did, you had absolutely no problem telling me. You know, when I first became an anchor here, we weren't even in, in this building, but um, I had three suit jackets. Oh, actually, we were in this building. We were, oh, I was way over there. Anyway, it wasn't as beautiful as this. I had three suit jackets, three. It was the exact same jacket in different colors. I was a reporter, we didn't care about that stuff. We didn't, right, Bob? 
That's right. That's my friend Bob Ward right there. <laughs> One day, I got a letter in the mail. Yes, this was pre-social media, pre-Twitter, pre-Facebook. And it was from this lovely woman from Everett. And she told me she was basically sick of seeing me in the same jacket night after night. <laughs> she actually sent me this small check so I could buy some new clothes. <laughs> It was classic. I think I went to Frugal Fanny's and made that happen. But uh, New England viewers, for that and for every other reason, you stand alone. You are the most passionate, savvy, charming people on the planet. And I really mean this when I say it. Your loyalty overwhelms me. All right, not in my family here. Past and present. The people on TV. The people you never see, they are simply the very best at what they do. Every one of them. They made this station great for the past 18 years. You. You. You, in my microphone, Mayor. You've been at my side and you've had my back. The best writers, producers, photographers, reporters, anchors, editors, directors, the control room, engineering, master control, promotions, traffic, sales, security, every inch of this building is filled with quality people and amazing journalists. I wish you all nothing but the very best because that's what you are, the very best. Okay, I did this earlier, but I want to do it again because it means something to me. So I sit on this blanket every night. I bet a whole bunch of you have blankets like this that your nana or your yaya or your grandmother made for you. I'm short. Auk is tall. Tall and handsome guy. <laughs> so I need it to boost me up. My grandmother, Maria, crocheted this for me when I graduated in high school in 1984. And no, you don't have to do the math. I tell you guys all the time that I'm almost 50. When I fold this blanket up, and walk up to this set night after night, I think about the values that she taught me. And that helps me to never forget where I came from. And that's here, just like you. It has been an honor and a true privilege. My baby, who's now 18. We, we came full circle, kid. I love to see my daughter here, my sister, my family, all of you. I feel like I do see you on the other side of this camera, through Twitter, through everything. And Liam, my son, I'll finally be at your meet next week, and I can't wait. I really love you guys. I feel like you're part of me. And um, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. All right, Bobby. All right, Maria. You still surprised me. I didn't even know Bob Ward was going to be here. Love you, Maria. I love you, Bob. Love you. I love long, you so much. Long road together from Provence to Boston, and you're going to do great. You're going to do some great things. You're the very best. You're all the best. Thank and you. Bill and everybody and all of you. Great, Maria. Thank you, Ock. I love you, too. Thank you, guys. We'll be back. I'm not leaving yet. <laughs> 1130. Plenty more. Come back. But I just wanted to say those words.